Back in 36, Joe Lewis was not yet champion. He had 27 wins and no losses up till then. Now he was set to fight in Yankee Stadium against Max Schmeling, ex-heavyweight champ and German citizen. When the fight began, each man was slow and very wary. For three rounds, there was not much interaction. In the fourth, Joe hit his adversary With a left that did not get him the hoped for reaction The German saw how Joe's left hand dropped Way down low whenever Lewis threw a punch Schmeling took advantage, his right fist unstopped. Joe Lewis hit the canvas with a crunch. It did not end there, in that long round. could not recover from that blast He took a heavy beating for eight rounds more But beyond the twelfth he could not last Max Schmeling was the victor that night he received A telegram from the Fuhrer in celebration The white race was clearly superior The German leader believed Max had proved it to the world With the brown bomber's humiliation In the seclusion of a Detroit apartment Playing his harmonica, he found comfort in the blues Joe Lewis with a badly bruised left eye underwent A kind of conversion he had learned how it was to lose And three days later, in June of 38, Joe and Max would meet again for a rematch of their fight. A 24 year old Lewis, now the champion heavyweight, would risk his title to avenge his loss that night Before the boxing match Joe Lewis met with FDR At the White House in Washington, D.C.
just before the bout and 70,000 fans filled the house the roof built the weather was sultry and hot Hitler telephone smelling with victory demands was he not a German patriot just 124 seconds that was all it took three times Max Schmeling German radio quite suddenly went dead. Two broken vertebrae in a hospital, Max was admitted. He'd taken 40 punches, some directly to his head. Pearl Harbor is blindsided with carnage and grief. As Joe saw it, Japan sucker punched his country. He donates his next two purses, $100,000, to military relief. He then enlists, rank of private, in a segregated army. At the army's behest, Joe Lewis logs 21,000 miles. He fought 96 fights for 2 million GIs worldwide. Though understood as exhibitions, some were vicious bloody trials. But Joe's the first to assert, we are on God's side. With the war won and Sergeant Lewis released, he boxed until he couldn't box anymore. But his record breaking hardly ceased. Lewis was the first official black PGA golf competitor. The IRS, it turned out, was his most ruthless foe. Despite Joe's selfless service to his nation. Well, I'm not working for nothing, I'm working for my country. They claimed Tons of interest on unpaid taxes he would owe. He would give you the Even on those charitable relief fund donations. Broke, he turned wrestler, then referee, and he became a greeter in Las Vegas. Caesar's Palace. He paid the IRS until they finally said, okay, that's enough. You can stop with this game. His weakened heart was straining, though still not a trace of malice. Joe Lewis would hold the heavyweight crown for longer. than anybody else in the history of the fighting game. 
From 1937 to 1949 He had 66 wins 49 by knockout to his name Joe Lewis was white America's first black hero. The great-grandson of a slave owner and the grandson of a slave. Max Schmeling served as one of the Lewis pallbearers. Lewis was going away with the...